You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it is the So Cool Sewing Studio from Umagine, ages 6 plus, 4 AA batteries. It says right on the front, there's 9 projects, and it's neat too because the handle looks like an old-fashioned sewing case. Uh, let's check out the side here. Side panel, one happy child there. And then the back panel tells you everything that's in the kit. Kind of repeats what you've uh, what we read already. And then the last side panel shows another happy kid there with something she made. So I hope I could be happy in making something. Now let me just see if I can get in this box easily. There is a bunch of tape in different spots, so we'll see. Looks like all the tabs have tape. And you know, once uh, once I get it all out, then we'll see how much I have to do to set it up. But it should be ready to go right out of the box, right? Okay, so here's all the fabric with it. And then here are some patterns, it looks like. And the instructions. Yeah, this looks like it's going to be a little bit more detailed to get out with the tape and everything. So I'm going to set it right there so we can at least... Take a look at it out of the box. It looks pretty neat. Ooh, that, that scratchy sound. It's like chalkboard sound, huh? Sorry, everybody. I guess it's at a point now where I do have to get it all out, get it all set up. Here's some inner batting to fill up some stuff. And they have one right on here ready to go, and it's kind of attached here. So let me do this. Let me get it all out, get it set up, get to the instructions, and we'll get started. All right, I'm all set to go. The batteries are not in there yet. I was going to do that for you on the video so you can see that. Instructions, I'll set those off to the side. We'll check back on those. And then you have your template sheets, which you can use to trace your designs from. And it looks like, uh, you know, quite a few on here. One, two, three, four, five, maybe six different things. So I'll set those off to the side. I'm going to actually just do the basic one in this first video until I understand it better. There's some black strapping, I'll set that off to the side. Some appliques, which are, you know, probably used on some of the patterns. And there's the pre-made ones here, where you can, uh, you don't have to worry about cutting them out, you just follow the patterns they have. There's two of those, the purse, and then this owl, so we'll set that off to the side. And then all the fabrics, there's two of each type of fabric. Now they do say, um, you know, to get more fabric you would have to get it from them. And then... There's these buttons, and then the batting, which is in the back, and then the one that came with it. So let's check out the bottom of this and get this screw out. Partially taken out. There we go. And then my four batteries. The first one, let me see where they show you, is down and then up. And then down, and then up. Okay. And just put that back in. Oop, it already started. Okay, so we're set. Now, I think they're calling this first one the cupcake. So, need to look at the instructions. Yes. It is the project for the cupcake. So, prepare the pieces you will need. All right. I prepared them. There are two front and back, and then, no, I didn't prepare them. And then it looks like I need the blue bow, which I had, and then one of the buttons. Don't know which exactly one, but we'll take this one here. And then it says, start by spot stitching the pieces together so they don't misalign. Place a plus under the needle guard and press the button. Move fabric back and forth, then press the button to stop. Repeat for all plus shapes. Okay, so if you look at this, there is a, a start and a stop point. So they mention it right here. Start, stop, spot, stitch. The plus. So you're going to put the whites to the white so that you have the decoration on the outside of both. And then put the plus to the spot, stitch. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing here. So let's say that's it. And then it says start by spot stitching, start spot stitching. Spot stitching the pieces together so they don't misalign. Place a plus under the needle guard and press the button. 
move fabric back and forth, then press the button to stop. Okay. Repeat for all plus shapes. So let's just take a look. That is stitched. And then here's another plus shape. Okay. Yes, I have no idea if I'm doing this right. So it's my first time. But I'm doing what it says, right? Okay, press the button, move fabric back and forth. Okay, shapes. Next step. It says place one, okay, under the needle guard and press the button. Push the fabric under the needles following the dotted line to two. So I need to get from here all the way around. I just want to see, what is it actually doing when it's stitching? See that in there? I'm not sure. It's not... It looks like it is thread, but it says no thread. Interesting. Cool. So let's go along here and just follow what they're saying. Let me get the camera in here a little bit better. And then I'll reposition here and get started. So those initial stitches are to keep it together for you on the pluses. Making a turn now. You see that okay, what's going on inside there? Probably not good to stop there like that. <laughs> Stop there. There you go. So that was our first time around. And look at that. Now I really want to try to pull it hard and kind of get an idea. I'm going to actually try to rip it. That's pretty strong. I'm putting good pressure. What I think it's doing is the type of fabric that it's using. It's using the fabric to make the threads go through. So let me restitch that back up. Since it's not using thread, it's the fabric is creating the thread. And can I restitch back up? Yeah, restitch back up. So now, let's see. Stitch to stuff cape. Okay. So after we do that, it says stuff your cupcake through the opening at the bottom. Do not over stuff. Okay, so here we go. Well, I'm going to have to come back and remake this video too with a different pattern. I just wanted to get a feel for it and get the video out there so you can all see what it's all about. And I'm going to say when I lifted it up, it's a nice solid machine. And I could see it, you know, being kind of fun. Well, here's where it said a couple things you need to remember now. You can only use the so cool fabric with so cool. So you can't use any fabric. Never use more than two layers. Okay, so there's a couple tidbits, and if you have problems, what to do. And the rest of the instructions show you how to make the, uh, the project for the bag, and then uh, other little pieces of information. I'd have to read this a little bit more, but, you know, maybe if I hold it there, you can read the different sections yourself if you want. Important, do not use fabrics other than those supplied. Okay, all right. Enough information for you. Let's finish this project at hand. And then don't overstuff. So what do you think? That's good? I think a little more. Okay, the stitch, stitch to stuffed cupcake closed. All right. So that's why they don't want you to overstuff. Because then it'll be hard to do this. So I'm going to start on... And we'll start where I left off on the two, which is easier to see there. Okay. That's kind of neat. I have to say, I'm pretty impressed. Now it says, look for a small hole on top layer. And I saw it here earlier. I thought it was uh, something wrong with the fabric, but it's there. And it says... Pin a bow on the cupcake by using button snap. Hmm. 
they all look the same. Remember, you got some with it. So let's put the bow on here. Oh, I see. And once it's in there, it's going to lock in. So that's it. It went through to the other side. And now I've done my first So Cool project. And I have to say, I'm really impressed with it. I think it's pretty neat. You know, if you get this, I would just stock up on all kinds of fabric so you have it. In case you can't get it anymore, you can always use this. I'd be willing to bet that if you test on a felt, it might work on a similar type fabric. So maybe in another video, we might just try that theory. Now the fabric itself, if you look at it closely, here, let me hold some of that up for you. You can kind of, it's almost like a felt. I'm not sure what makes it so unique. That might require some experimenting. So there you go. How's that? That's my first sewing project with the So Cool. I'm happy. Glad it all came out. You see all the stuff it comes with? We'll have to see now when the next video comes up. But we wanted to get this for, you know, in December. So if you're thinking about getting it, it's pretty neat. And thanks for watching. It's really appreciated. Well, the video is not over, and I've done this a few times because I get this afterthought, and this time it was my curiosity had gotten the best of me because I had some felt fabric uh, from another video that we had used for Butch's costume for Halloween. I thought, I'm going to give it a shot. Now, it's a little thicker, but let's just see. Looks like it's going through okay. I wonder if there's different grades of felt, so maybe a thinner felt would be even better. I just want to see if it holds a stitch and look at that so could you use other fabric probably it needs to be something like this that has the softness to it because what it's actually doing is breaking the fibers of the fabric and creating that as the thread see let's just do one more time so it's possible and there you go. So this time, I'm officially ending the video and saying thanks for hanging out. Later. If you want to find this item, click the link in the description area below the video. You can also watch more videos in this series by clicking here. Thanks for watching. And always remember, if you see a lucky penny, pick it up.